Thank you for tuning in to another episode of Chief Chat. What is up, my exchange family from all over the world? And thank you for tuning in to another episode of Chief Chat. My name is Chief Master Sergeant Kevin Osby, and I'm your senior enlisted advisor for the Army and Air Force Exchange Service. Before we get started with our guest today, I would like to introduce my lovely co-hosts, Kiana Holloman and Emily Zarsk. How y'all doing, ladies? Hey, Chief. Hey, hey Emily. Hi. So, Kiana, I hear today's guest you are very, very, very familiar with. <laughs> I am. So our guest today was actually my college classmate. So super, super excited to kind of speak with today's guest. Oh, yeah, absolutely. So let's let's get it started. Let's go. Yeah. So today's guest is also an accomplished actor, having starred alongside Bruce Willis in A Day to Die. He also played the role of Belle on Tyler Perry's drama Ruthless. And he's here today to discuss his role on the new BET Plus hit series Kingdom Business. Please give a warm Chief Chat welcome to Aspen Kennedy Wilson. Hey, thank you. <laughs> thank you so much. Hey, so Aspen, it's a pleasure to have you with us today. Can you let our viewers know where you're coming from? Yeah, I'm actually here in Atlanta, Georgia at home right now. So uh, in the house. <laughs> ATL, OK. Yes, sir. And so we are so excited to chat with you today. Um, and I'm also from Georgia, but I'm from Savannah. But you know, okay. same state. Yay. <laughs> I actually visited Savannah for the first time, like uh, in December. So it was pretty fun. Great food too. So. It's a beautiful, yeah, it's a beautiful city. Um, so and I'm glad you went. But I need to get back there actually. Um, right. But before we dive into the discussion on your current role in Kingdom Business, how did you get your start in acting? It's so funny because actually uh, at JSU with Kiana. Um, I actually uh, took a course, advanced acting, and um, I needed an art elective, but I didn't want to take music appreciation or art appreciation. So I was like, you know what, I guess I'll take acting. But when I took it, I felt like that was the first like class. It didn't feel like work or I didn't dread going to class. I love school, but like that was the one that I felt like, you know, I wish I could come to this class every day. And uh, at that time, my professor was also a working actor. So like he was like, hey, man, like if this is something you want to do, you should really take it serious because you have like that it factor. So like. I'm just grateful for him having that influence to say, hey, like, you know, if this is something you want to do, definitely follow it. And from there, I uh, graduated 2017 and we actually ended up working on the same episode on Queen Sugar. So he was like, he was just my student two years ago. And now we're on the same TV show. So it was truly uh, like a, you know, point in moment, so to speak. Yeah. No, so what was your, so what your major? Yeah, no, I got, I got a question. What, so what was your original major? <laughs> uh, communications. Communications. Okay. That's calm. Yeah. With a minor in marketing, so that was it. <laughs> no, yeah, flash forward what five years later, and now your yeah. latest series, Kingdom Business, is getting a lot of love. Fans are so obsessed yeah. with the storylines, including your relationship with a Sarai's character, Rebel. So, yes. Zion is a different <laughs> character than fans are used to seeing you play. How did you prepare mm -hmm. to play this role? Just truly, um, sitting with the circumstances, because uh, of course, you know, I have a girlfriend, but like we don't argue, like you know, Zion and Rebel, you know, have their uh, get okay. at it. But uh, just truly, just you know, uh, observing the circumstances and just knowing the story. Uh, the story was well written, so it was easy to just live in that world and just uh, just truly enjoy the ride. And especially Soraya too, she was great chemistry, easy to work with, and we just you know showed up to work and have fun. So, so you mentioned all these. Uh, well, just knowing on this cast, man, you got some heavy hitters on the yeah. cast. You got, uh, <laughs> you, you know, you, you got amazing mu musical performance by the incomparable uh, Yolanda Adams. Uh, oh yeah, man, what's it like collaborating with all these heavy hitters? Yolanda, Soraya, <laughs> Michael Beach, Michael Jai White, and Kurt Franklin. Yeah, that sounds like it was a so service because... that I, I want to be a part of too. <laughs> y'all, I'm telling you, it was some days I was not on set. I knew that like, they had like some of the singing scenes. I was like, I just got to go, you know, because we had to get COVID tested out too. So like, I was like, let me go get tested, go get some breakfast from set. And I actually kind of sit in and get this little quick worship real quick. But um, nah, everybody was so down to earth, man, especially like just growing up, listening to Yolanda, Kurt, and just seeing their work, especially Michael J. Y. too and Michael Beach from Soul Food. So it was just like a moment where you see these people growing up and now it's like they're introducing themselves to you. Like, hey, like, we're glad we're here together. So. It was truly like a, you know, a God appointed moment where I'm just truly grateful for it. And I told the producers, I'm like, all right, just for season two, just in case I'm taking singing lessons because, uh, you know, everybody <laughs> on this thing, they rocking it out. So I was like, all right, I'm gonna be ready for next season. 
Hey, but how, how's how's your singing your vocal cords right now? How how? Now we're not gonna do. We're not making you sing right now. But uh, <laughs> let's go get the mic real quick. Let me, get the mic. <laughs> no, it's cool. You know, I feel like I got that. You know, the cool chill voice. You know, like maybe where Drake started off when he was singing, because you know, he, he, yeah, he's a rapper. But um, I think I can carry a tune or just that mellow. But like, I really want to, you know, expand those vocal cords too. So uh, we'll see what happens. <laughs> And we have an exclusive clip from the show for our viewers, and we are going to take a look at it right now. And I'm super excited. So what's up with all this, uh, this music y'all supposedly working on? Supposedly. I mean, nah, we definitely working on something. I really like it. Uh, did she tell you that we're pulling lyrics from Danny's journal? No. You want to hear? I, I was just about to lay down the piano track. Nah, I'm good, man. The you know, thing I'm wondering is, um, how you fit in? I love it. Oh, thank you. Yeah, right. <laughs> thank you. So thank you, I got a you. chance to watch. All of us have seen all eight episodes, Aspen. We subscribe to BT Plus. It's an awesome, awesome show. For those of you who haven't seen it, episode one is going to leave you wanting more, like straight up. Oh, so yeah. what can viewers <laughs> who haven't seen the episodes just yet, what can they expect from this season, but also from your character? Uh, truly, um... I feel like it's an ever unfolding story of redemption because you uh, you get more into the lives of each character. Um, there are definitely moments where you laugh, you could cry, you could like you know you scream at the TV like what in the world is going on? Because uh, actually, so many people uh, reached out. They were like, "All right, so tell me. I won't tell nobody. Like, what happens at the end of episode eight? I'm like, honestly, I don't even know because the script says exactly what happens. Like, we see that, and like so I'm like they even they even left us with a lot of plot twists as well. So like okay. I'm excited to um, you know see what happens season two as well. So, you know, as you're going through uh, watching the season one, right, and you get to episode mm -hmm. eight, it's got a bunch of twists, turns, plot, cliffhangers, Man. you know, without without giving away anything. So it, all my viewers, please go watch, uh, watch, go watch Kingdom it. Business. Yeah, go watch yeah. it. Uh, but what message do you think would you like the viewers to take away from the show? Just truly, uh, aside from his entertainment value, like God is, he's sovereign. And like, as you can see in the show and, you know, in real life for certain circumstances, like, he will come rescue you from any situation, wherever you may be in your life journey. And it's just, it just shows his love for humanity. So it's, it's really cool to see that in the entertainment world as well as, uh, you know, just impactful stories too, because, you know, I feel, I feel like audiences, they like to, you know, follow characters and go on the story, but they also like to see themselves on the screen too. So just to see like, hey, I was here and God brought me here. It's just that, that, um, that welcoming invitation of like, you've been entertained as well, but you've been reminded of God's love for you. So it's truly powerful, man. And Aspen, service members of our armed forces um, and their families are watching all over the world right now. What would you like to say to them today? Truly, just thank you so much for being courageous. Thank you for being strong. And like, especially during the times we live in now, like it's so much going on where we can just be afraid by like default, but just thank you for your, your courageousness and your strength because we all need it. Uh, love is needed uh, more than ever. I feel like now and just to have you know, the soldiers and the military at the forefront of just protecting our country as a uni unified body. It's like, it's an amazing thing that we all need uh, individually as well as on the forefront. So thank you so much for your courageousness, for sure. Yes, and we have some fans tuned in as well. Um, Columbus wants to know more about Kingdom Business. So Aspen, if you could describe the show in your own words, what is Kingdom Business about? Yeah, so uh, it definitely it's a music driven uh, scripted drama series that takes viewers, you know, into the world behind the scenes of the gospel music industry. And it's many like complexities. I mean, you have conflict, you have money, fame, relationships, all with the battle of faith or the balance of faith thereof. Um, so a lot of people I see fans on Twitter, they compare it to like, oh, it's like an empire meets, you know, Pea Valley meets Greenleaf. But uh, I truly feel like it's, yeah. a, it's a story, you know, of its own kind. So uh, those are definitely great shows as well. I, I enjoy those shows. But uh, this one is definitely uh it's one of it's, it's one of his first. And I guess another question is when it comes to your relationship, Zion's relationship with Rebel, I guess how would you describe that relationship dynamic? Because I guess as a viewer, um, from the outside looking in, it's like, Yeah, dang, you are not supported. <laughs> right, what right. is going on? <laughs> <laughs> for real, for real. I'm trying to fix this camera. Uh yeah, so like their relationship is definitely one. Um I laugh at as well as seeing all the responses on Twitter. It was like, yo, he doesn't support her and she needs to leave him. He's going on tour with Migos and she just needs yes. to like cut it short. She needs to go with ties. So it's this whole narrative of uh, team ties and teams on right now. So it's really funny to see as well as 
to uh, kind of see how they can set up for season two to show like Zion's uh, storyline as far as what does his redemption look like or what does his um, elevation look like, so to speak. But um, it's definitely funny because they have a lot of moments where he's there for her. He supports her. He has a lot of moments when he says outrageous things to her. And it's just like, I, I got close friends and family. It's like, okay, like, I know you, but that was really mean. Like, you had me mad at, your, at you or your character for a second. But I was like, all right, exactly. show them I'm doing my job. So um, it's cool to see, though, because uh, I definitely wouldn't do some of the things or say some of the things as Iron does, but it's cool to just actually uh, see how the fans uh, enjoy that or seeing me portray that, so to speak. So. Yeah, and then I have another question, which is not Kingdom Business related. So you were actually in a mm -hmm. day to die with Bruce yes. Willis. And I saw that it was mm -hmm. filmed back in Jackson. I think I saw a clip of Mayor Lumumba in the background somewhere. So what was it yeah. like being back in Jackson, doing what you love? Yeah, I mean, that was uh, a reminder, too, because like uh, I said, we graduated in 2017 and uh, I came to Atlanta right. literally a week after graduating. So just to go back and work on a film so impactful, an action film where, I mean, you saw they they use explosions downtown. So I'm like, y'all, this is how I got to school. So it's pretty cool seeing those same yeah. uh, landmarks just to be using entertainment value that's seen all over the world, you know, Jackson, as well as, um, you know, so many people from the area of Jackson got a chance to uh, be there as well. So it was really cool to just be a part of that moment of like, all right, I came here for school. I found my passion or it was reignited, so to speak. And um, just just truly just having it there was it was really cool. And we also came back for the premiere as well. So. It was cool to be back in Jackson. I definitely got some of that good food from, uh, you know, uh, the Mississippi cooking. <laughs> <Hey. laughs> yeah. Are, are you so from you Mississippi? Or? I'm from Memphis, Memphis, Tennessee, home of barbecue. Okay. Foods, but, you know, we right down the street. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So so you you are building an impressive acting portfolio, right? And so um, now who, who's your who's your goats of, of acting? So or let me ask, the, who's your goats of acting and then <laughs> If you could star along any actor or actress in the industry, mm -hmm. who would it be and why? Man, the go to acting is definitely Denzel Washington. Uh, somebody who I truly uh, would love to work with soon um, that I've been watching his body of work recently is uh, Hill Harper. Um, I just feel like he's very embodied in his characters. Uh, he stands for so much, even in like real life, as far as social activism and just entrepreneurship. So I'm just like, I want to kind of follow that lane of just impacting people, but also entertaining people. So Hill Harper, definitely. Uh, actress. Um, Viola Davis, Kerry Washington, um, Julia Roberts. I love Julia Roberts. Like from a kid to now, I'm like, yo, like she's so she's talented. So yeah, those those few. No, I'm obsessed with Julia Roberts. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is your favorite Julia Roberts movie? Just a random question. I feel like it's uh the Pelicans brief. I saw it recently. Uh, her and Denzel, Yay. ironically, but uh, that was, it was so good. It was so so good. And uh, I actually started a film the other day. She was in on Netflix. I think it's called Closer. I didn't finish it, but yeah, um, it was it was it's really good. It's really good. She's always uh, in those powerful dramas to the point where I'm like, man, she got me crying a little bit. Right. But she has that power. So like, that's definitely something I would like to uh, influence my audience to be that connected where you feel like you're personally in that journey. So. Love you. so no. I, I guess That's along the lines, along, along the same lines of that that question she asked. Um, now, did you grow up just watching movies? Was that a was that a big thing in your household, or did you get more so? I started acting, and now I'm going to go back and I'm going to start watching all these old old flicks. It was because I, as I think about it, in the past, it's just like my favorite movie. I feel like I watched over and over, and actually still watched it like two weeks ago. Is Good Burger. So um, I'm like, I knew all the lines, I knew the scenes, I knew yes, the beats. Yes. I'm like, it's funny, you know, yeah, Good Burger is, is, is a classic. Uh, Ken and Kel, I still watch that sometimes too. But um, yeah, it's just like, I used to watch a lot of movies. Like I used to go to the movies. Mom, she actually worked, um, she's a manager of um, like an admin at, at a theater in Memphis. And, um, you know, sometimes I would go to work with her and, you know, I can just go to the theaters and just sit in there and just watch, you know, while, while she was at work. So like Spider-Man 3. Uh, what's some other movies that were out during the time? But like, I definitely enjoyed, like, I just felt like literally I was in that world sitting and watching those uh, shows and movies. So now I understand from the component of actually being on the other side of it, it's just like, you want your viewers to be invested and feel like they're just having an experience. So I feel like it was a full circle moment where I enjoyed it and now I'm actually a part of it and I still enjoy it, so. Man, I don't think I've ever heard anybody say Good Burger is as they favorite, good, but don't get me wrong. Like Good Burger was a good movie, but I, I don't think Yo. I was expecting that from anybody. But that's yeah, that's, right. that's good stuff. <laughs> Yo, it's so funny because uh, me and my girl we joke around all the time. Like, uh, what's the ad? He's like, did did 
And so it's just it's just hilarious. It's <laughs> so funny. He's like, oh, it's soda. It's just it's it's hilarious, man. So I would love to work with him too if I ever break into the comedy side because it's like I feel like Keenan as well. He's doing amazing on Saturday Night Live. So just to see the trajectory of his career, it's just like, man, he's really been in it. So that's a blessing to see too. But yeah, Good Burger is definitely uh, one of my favorites, man. No, so all eight episodes of Kingdom Business are available for streaming now on BET Plus. As when we know you're always working on something new and working on your craft, honing it and, and getting to a place where you'd like to be. So can you give us a look at what's coming up for you? Yeah, actually right now I'm developing my own uh, short film right now. We may extend it to the future, but however, it's a, it's a family drama. Uh, I'm using inspiration right now from like, um, it's a description in uh, Malachi where it's uh, the God will turn the hearts of the fathers back to the son. So I really want to tell the story with an aim in my heart to like release it uh, around Father's Day next year. But I just love family dramas. I love, um, you know, seeing conflict resolve in a positive way. Cause I feel like just in the family structure for our world in general, it's just, it's important to see when things go wrong, you can always solve it in a, in a matter or a fashion of love. So right now I'm just in a very beginning stages of that. But um, actually I see Hill Harper in mind, like playing my dad or the character's dad in the, uh, the film. So uh, this, this is a very beginning stages, but I haven't really talked about this. So y'all got that exclusive look, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm actually uh, developing my own projects right now, producing those. So that's my next go-to until, you know, season two for Kingdom Business. <laughs> yeah, season two, we need it. Yeah. We need it after all those. Players. We do. I need it. I, I enjoy watching oh, it too. So I'm like, y'all, I got, I got, we did that. <laughs> yeah. And we're so excited for all your upcoming roles. Um, and where can our viewers go to follow and keep up with everything Aspen Kennedy Wilson? Yeah, so on Facebook, I'm Aspen Kennedy Wilson, and on Instagram, I'm at Aspen Kennedy. I uh, just recreated a Twitter uh, for the show just to see, you know, what everybody was saying. But it's at four, uh, f o u r f o r t y, and the number seven, then v n four forty seven. That's the time I was born. So, um, yeah, it's pretty cool. We'll sort behind that. But yeah, at Aspen Kennedy on uh, Instagram, Aspen Kennedy Wilson on Facebook, and at four forty seven on Twitter. Gotcha. So we, we we had uh Chef Andre Rush on uh last week uh and he told mm -hmm. us that he he's personally like answering it, all of his social media. So if you DM in or on Twitter, yeah. so if, if somebody's <laughs> going back and forth with somebody on Twitter, this this you they go on they go so on to you. The funny or? thing about it, it wasn't until like I'm I'm watching the show, I'm like, all right, you know they're about to drag Zion for like how he treats his girl. So like I went on there, people were like, uh he doesn't support her and I don't even know he's trash and he's annoying. I'm like, all right, y'all, like, calm. Like, he got some moments where he's gonna show some love. But I definitely responded to a few of them, like in some funny ways. I'm like, all right, so like he told her the entire time to give this to the cops. Did y'all not see this? I was like, okay, we'll give you some props there. But I think it's cool to also engage with uh, the audience and the fans too to show like, hey, we're human as well. But they get to see like, okay, like that was fun. It was a good job, but he's really not that mean guy. But it's cool. It's cool to just you know, because I always see things I would love you know to engaged with uh julia roberts for say for, for for instance but um it's pretty cool just to have that platform to be able to connect with people who support you so it's really fun so uh, yes i will respond <laughs> well well uh for our chief chat viewers this episode will be available on youtube and spotify you can rewatch with your friends or catch up with past episodes also be sure to join us back here at 11 a.m central on june the 2nd to hear from Under Secretary of the Air Force, the Honorable Gina Ortiz Jones. And again, on June 7th, when we have Grammy nominated R&B artist, Music Soul Child, to join the chat. Nice. So Aspen, man, so you you out here playing toxic masculinity and, and, and it's, Yo, it is curious. Oh, oh, like, this, this, this is future infused entertainment. Future. Like, All right, cool. <laughs> no, no, he, he out here, but it's 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 funny, man. It's just like um, like I said, just also to see the theories of the audience of like, okay, I wonder what's gonna happen with Zion. Like, as you guys saw, like he goes to uh, Vegas at the end of you know season one. So like, what happens in Vegas? I don't know what happens in Vegas, but um, it's gonna be cool to see how it plays out. But uh, yeah, he's definitely uh, promoting it unintentionally toxic max masculinity. So it's uh, it's, yeah, it's yeah. funny you caught that. <laughs> no, because the thing I'm, I've been watching, and it, you know, I'm, I'm a little older, but I, I still kind of stay because I got kids, and I, I need to make sure I know what's <laughs> right. going on in the world. And so I've been seeing a lot of battle of the sexes going on, and all kind of craziness. These podcasts yeah. are talking about that, you know, for, for yeah. women and men, and and so just just to kind of see how how that's kind of 
get, gaining so much traction in the world is it's interesting to me. So just yeah. human dynamics. Yeah. 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 So and, and some of you but, but hopefully, I'm really excited to. I'm sorry. No, I'm saying hopefully we can get you, you know, go from ta toxic masculinity to your comedy bag. Like you you, you hope to get right, right, comedy. Right, right. For yeah, sure. yeah, yeah. Tell me, man, because um, it's funny just even working with Michael Beach. You see, like, how his role was so powerful and soulful. Like, so oh, yeah. like, yo, he, he cheats in every film he's in. I'm like, <laughs> yeah. okay, so I'm going to uh, Zion or kind of put me in that bag of, like, being a, a guy who's not the good guy. But um, we'll see how it plays out, man. <laughs> No, no, but you seem like in in the last you know twenty something minutes of talking to you, you seem like a well well rounded young man, and uh, Thank you know you you're doing a lot uh some some great things, and and you know just kind of your path going from you know growing up in Memphis to Jackson State yeah. uh to 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 the big screen, man, it's 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 you are inspiring a lot of folks, so. Keep thank doing you, what man. you're doing, man. We appreciate you. And uh, thank you for giving us a little time here on our show. Because uh, like I said, thank you. once you get up in your bag and, and now you up there with Denzel <laughs> and, and, and Julia Roberts and, and everybody yeah. else, hopefully, you know, we can have you back on time. Oh, yeah, for sure. Y'all just got to make room for me. I'm here, man. That's it. All right. <laughs> hopefully, you know, during the time we can all actually get in the studio, live studio and actually be in the place. But, you know, I know it's a different time now, but... Um, I truly cherish moments just to be able to connect with people. So thank you guys so much. Um, this is fun. Um, truly, thank you. I've been looking forward to it for the last month and a half. So I'm like, I know that's like literally the day after um, Memorial Day. So I've, I've been ready for it. Okay, awesome, awesome. No, no, if we can if we can do this live, we're trying to take Chief Chat on the road. So uh, that, that's oh, yeah. been our vision yeah. for the longest. And and uh, we, we, we're going to try to get somewhere. And so, yeah, definitely we're going to keep the door open with you. Uh, but we appreciate thank just you, having your time. And uh, our, our nation's uh, military community, we just... We appreciate you know what you're doing to to take our mind off of all the craziness that goes on in the world. Give us some entertainment so we can sit back and and get emotional at home or or you know, laugh, cry, and all the other stuff. Yeah. So uh, yeah, you know what you do matters, and, and we can't do this mission Thank without you. Man. So appreciate you, brother. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, guys, for sure. For sure. Thank you so much. Absolutely. So if you don't mind hanging on, uh, so we can kind of say our formal goodbyes to after the live. Um, okay. But uh, we're gonna go ahead and. And uh and be out and we wish you all the best and uh chief chat out.